Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be telling you four tips to save money in Enduro Double Downs. Now, generally, Enduro Double Downs are rather easy for the people that have a lot of money, as in like 10 million credits, but what if you only have a couple million, or even less? Well, these tips should help. Now for tip number one, and this will probably save you the most money out of all of them. On your cars, only upgrade top speed and nitro. This is because many cars in the Enduro Double Downs have extremely expensive upgrades, and since acceleration and handling don't really do much of anything, I mean, compared to the speed of the car, it's best not to upgrade them. This right here can save you hundreds of thousands on each car. On the boss cars in the Enduro Double Downs, which are the main cars to win, it is usually best to win them with a multiplayer tune of 0505-5050. This is the cheapest way to give you the most speed to beat the final AIs. Now for tip number two. So you're upgrading top speed and you get to the final one and it's many hundreds of thousands of credits. And what if you don't want to spend that all on one upgrade? Well, in Mastery, there are free upgrades for all classes of cars on the fifth and 10th Masteries of some of the cars. Now, if you find these out, you can probably spend less money upgrading the car to do its mastery than it would be to spend on that upgrade. And then you can use that free upgrade on the really expensive one, on the Enduro Double Down car, and voila, you've just saved a lot of money. Now for the third tip, and this one is extremely important, especially if the boss car has very expensive upgrades. Contrary to what a lot of people think, you don't actually have to beat the final AI to get the car. It is based on points. If you fail a challenge, you will keep all the points you have saved up till that time. And when you start back at the beginning, you will keep them and you will continue to accumulate points on top of them. I found that a pretty good place to save is challenge 25. Now, if you risk points all the way up to challenge 25 and save them there, this is the halfway point through the Enduro Double Down. Now you may be thinking, wait a minute, it's only like 12,000 points, and the car is 75,000. Shouldn't I have more like 30-something thousand? Well, it doesn't work that way. There are a lot of points given near the very end. However, since Enduro Double Downs usually last from 7 to 9 days, you can risk points up till challenge 25, then save, and get 12,000 points each day, and in 6 days you will have 72,000 points without even going to the final AI and getting much into the hard section of the Enduro Double Down at all. This will save you money on upgrades on all the cars because the challenges get more and more difficult as you go up. And speaking of challenges getting harder as you continue, it's time for tip four. Whenever you can, use cars early on in the Enduro Double Down that you do not have upgraded as much. Because if you avoid doing races with cars that you have not upgraded much at all, Gameloft will most likely give you a lot of them near the end and they will be really difficult and then you'll have to spend a bunch of money on them. So generally, the less you've upgraded a car, the more you want to use it toward the beginning of the R&D. Save your max broad cars to use closer to the end of the Enduro Double Down, when you can compete in the hard challenges given to those cars. If you ever come to a point in the Enduro Double Down where the two choices given to you for races you do not think you can do, it is best to just pay 25 tokens to re-roll. This is a lot less than spending many hundreds to auto-pass something that you have failed. So, I hope these tips were useful. If you enjoyed and would like to see me make more helpful tip videos like this, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It really does help a lot. So good luck in the Enduro Double Downs, and I will see you later. Goodbye.